and gentlemen, we're going on a cruise tomorrow. First day we're on the ship is going to be the FSU bowl game. Now, one thing I did forget, which I always bring on cruise, cruises, is... Hey guys, yeah, the next morning down, we're going on a cruise tomorrow. Uh, I'm so excited. You guys better watch tomorrow's vlog. That cruise is gonna be so much fun, but tonight we have to pack. So, I'm packed. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna take you guys through a little bit of what I packed. So, starting off, I have to have socks. I packed socks and some underwear. Going on a cruise, you don't really need a whole lot of socks. You're gonna be walking around barefoot a lot. But, you know, when you're going to dinner and stepping off the ship, you might need socks. Um, pack some underwear. I did pack my new Adley Rushman jersey just because it's a beautiful jersey. I had to. Um, like, it's the Orioles off season, but still, I wanted to bring it. And then, uh, but it is going to be an NFL Sunday game day, so I did bring my Justin Herbert jersey. That's all packed and ready to go. Uh, we face the Rams at 425 on Sunday. I got seven shirts, six. Six or seven shirts in here. Um, it's only a five day cruise, but always pack extra shirts trust um plus the day we're coming home so always pack extra shirts uh three bathing suits right here one two three obviously you're going on a cruise you're gonna need some bathing suits i hope that's enough i hope three is enough um i got some sweatpants for you know the nights out on sea uh i have a nice shirt rolled up in here and two pairs of nice pants i'm gonna throw in you know, I'm gonna throw, i need to throw in a belt i'm not fully packed Throw in a belt. I'm also gonna throw in this shirt, just because it goes well with the blue pants. And then I need to throw in this bow tie. I know it's a clip-on bow tie, but it has Chargers bolts on it, and I want to wear it for Sunday night dinner when the Chargers win. Knock on wood. Um, so I will throw that in there. You can call bow. You can call clip-on bow tie tacky. I call it not tacky. Um. Moving on, uh, just some more pants, uh, just because you need to have them. Here's my watch, uh, important piece of any, you know, nice dinner fit. And then it is FSU game day tomorrow. We're playing the Cheez-It Bowl against the Oklahoma Sooners. So, got to bring my Florida State. This is the stuff I'm wearing tomorrow. I know this is like some middle school stuff, setting up the clothes you're going to wear tomorrow, but that's what I do. Um, and then some underwear, the shirt I'm wearing tomorrow, and the shorts. So these are all just literally right next to my bed. But, um, so yeah, I'm just going to wake up. I just want to wake up, put the clothes on, and go. We're going early. Not that early. It's going to be like 7.30. But still, I don't want a lot of trouble tomorrow. So I'm pa I'll pack tonight. Brennan and Kate are going to show you what they packed. So stay tuned. Gang, I think you just saw Ryan's packing, packing video. So it's officially my turn now. So <sighs> underwear, socks, got to have them. FSU jersey, bang. Hawaiian shirt, bang. Justin Herbert jersey, bang. First day we're gonna be, uh, first day we're on the ship is gonna be the FSU bowl game, Cheez-It Bowl. So I gotta, gotta represent. And then uh, Coca-Cola sweatshirt for when it gets cold. I got some bathing suits back there. Uh, a few college shirts loaded in there for, for some dinner action. Gotta keep the two hats on deck. And then I really, Brought some terrible shoes home from school, so those two, and I've got dirty vans also. Dop kit, got everything I need. I'm a nice little cologne guy that I got for Christmas. Um, and then probably just a speaker for the shower. And then what? AirPods? AirPods, AirPods probably. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it pretty simple. I kind of just took out a bunch of shirts, took out a bunch of shorts, mixed them all. I'm Five gonna... nights, going about seven, seven shirts. So, um, yeah, it's my back. All right, you guys, you probably already saw the videos from Brennan and Ryan. I have no idea what they look like, but I trust that they did a good job. We wanted to try to pack, try to film a packing video tonight before we go to our cruise tomorrow. We are in day 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, day six of like our family being here and Christmas. As you can tell, Katie's room is a mess. We're exhausted. We've had like so much family fun. So tonight, the kids are like, uh, like I don't want to have to like 
pack and film and all that stuff. So Katie already did pack, but she is half asleep on the couch with our cousins. So our cousins are sleeping over tonight, even though we're leaving at 7.30 tomorrow morning. We have like eight cousins out there sleeping over because it's the last night that we're all gonna be together. So they all wanted to be together. So Kate's half asleep. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna wake her up to do this. So I'll just show you a couple things of what is in her suitcase for the cruise. So this is her brand new suitcase that she got for Christmas. Ryan, or Brennan got a very similar one. Um, same one, but it's actually in blue. But hopefully her suitcase will stay nice and white for a very long time. It's a size where she doesn't have to check it, which is really nice. She can carry it on a plane. Not that we have to fly to a cruise tomorrow. We're just driving because now we live in Florida. So we used to drive to Miami, which is awesome. But the white um, suitcase, hopefully she won't ever get, have to check it because if she checks it, then I think it's going to get all dirty. But if she brings it on the plane or brings it herself like to the on the cruise ship and that kind of stuff, then it'll hopefully stay nice and clean. Now we talked about maybe Katie getting a suitcase cover for it to keep it nice and clean, but that kind of defeats the purpose. It's like putting plastic over your couches. Like when are you ever gonna enjoy it? So anyway, um, let me see if I can do a little bit of a packing video for you about Katie's suitcase. Hi, Eddie. Are you coming in to see what we're doing here? Let's see what we got. Ooh, she did a really good job. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna take this apart, but let me see what I can do here. This is very nice. Good job, Katie. Looks like she has some clothes. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. She got some, she has some cute tops. This is the thing, I did not supervise and, and I don't have to supervise all the time. Like that's not my goal because I think these guys can pretty much decide what they want to wear. But sometimes they might forget. Well, we're going to go to five dinners. We're going to have, you know, a couple bathing suits. We're going to want to wear stuff to the to breakfast. Um, New Year's Eve is going to be during that time. So you might want to have something for New Year's Eve. It looks like Katie did pack some shoes for New Year's Eve. So that's good. I don't know what's in there. Oh, I see something sparkly. Looks like she packed her sparkly pants for New Year's. I don't know that you've seen those before unless you follow her on TikTok. She did wear those to the FSU, like to one of the FSU games. Um, so those are some sparkly pants. This is a cute little dress. I do know that. Hi, baby girl. Now Alice is in here. Hi, sweet girl. You know, Pap's going to take care of you while we're gone. Okay, lovey? Okay. And I don't know what else she would have packed for fancy stuff, but I do see her fancy shoes here and her jewelry. And she got has some workout stuff, it looks like. Bathing suits, maybe. Oh, these are cute pants. What's this? Oh, her Bucky's t-shirt. Love that. So, I don't know. Stay tuned, you guys, to see um, when we're on the cruise so you can see what she's wearing. And maybe she'll do an unpacking video. That would be kind of fun, unpacking. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do a little unpacking video about what we unpack and where we put them in the room. So stay tuned for that when we board the ship tomorrow. All right, it's my turn to pack. And I have to say, I've been pretty organized. I keep lists and I refer back to my cruise lists from previous times. I use my notes on my Apple phone or my iPhone. <laughs> my notes app to make lists of things like when we go to the beach, when we go to the Outer Banks, for example, I have my list of the things I want to bring. When I go on a cruise, there's like certain things I want to bring on a cruise that I might not bring to a different vacation just because um, it's like a cruise kind of thing. Now, one thing I did forget, which I always bring on cruise cruises is, you know, when you check into a cruise, you get a little cruise card. It's like a little, it's not a credit card, but it's the size of a credit card. And that's basically your C pass and it's your card. It gets you in and out of the, um, the, uh, of your cabin and you swipe it when you get on and off the ship and, um, you use it, you can use it to charge things back to your room, like to charge whatever. So anyway, you keep your C-Pass card, oftentimes people do, in a lanyard. So you wear like a lanyard with a little plastic, you know, holder. You can put your C-Pass card right in there. So um, usually when you check into the ship, they give you a lanyard that'll say like the cruise line on it. Um, I don't know if they're going to give them out now. Like I haven't cruised in, well, since 2019, 2020, 2022. It's been three years since we've been on a cruise. Anyway, so I don't know if they still give those out or not, but on like a few cruises ago, maybe when we were in 2018 for my dad's um, birthday cruise, our first New Year's cruise with our whole family, I bought a fancy lanyard because they sell fancy ones. So my lanyard had um, 
like sparkles on it and um, like rhinestone, not real rhinestones, but just sparkles, you know, so it was cool. Kind of like this, it looked kind of sparkly like this. So I'm really hoping that they sell those again. I left it, I left that one in Maryland and when I was back in Maryland a few weeks ago or a week and a half ago, I forgot to grab it. Like I grabbed cruise dresses, I grabbed um, like little, like um, little like cover-ups, little cardigans like to cover up your shoulders if you get chilly at dinner or whatever, but I completely forgot to grab the lanyard. But I like to have that because you wear it every day and it's kind of fun to have a sparkly one. So anyway, so that's an example of something that I would bring on, bring on a cruise, for example, and not um, to the beach if I was going to like the Outer Banks. But um, all right, so let me show you what I'm packing. You ready? So I will show you here. This is my suitcase and it's not really packed yet except for this side I did. I packed my bathing suits and we're going to be there for five days. I did pack five bathing suits. One, two, three, four, five. Five, is that it? Yes, maybe six. I think I, I think I, I think I packed six, which I usually end up packing a bunch of stuff and then go, okay, I need to take some things away. So I'll be like, okay, I'll take away two pairs of shorts, two bathing suits, a shirt, that kind of thing. Hopefully I'll be able to fit it all in. But if I can't, then maybe one bathing suit will go. So that's that. And I packed shoes. I have my running shoes or walking shoes. So for working out, running or walking on the ship, I love, love, love walking on the ship. I love running on the ship. However, last time I went on a cruise, I was running and I haven't been running lately. I've been walking. So I'm not sure if I'll try to run on the ship or not. Probably not. I'll probably walk. I don't know. We'll see. And then I brought these fancy shoes. Those go uh, for dinner. A couple of the nights with a couple of my outfits, regular flip flops. I'm bringing these shoes a pair of shoes that I'll wear like when I go to the pool and for breakfast and just to you know run around in they're very comfortable here they are these are my favorite shoes these are my heels so I have these guys so I'll wear those with actually most of my dinner outfits um on a cruise you, you used to have to get all dressed up and stuff for dinner you don't really have to get dressed up anymore but I love to get dressed up so I do I rarely go places at home where I have, I get to dress up and that kind of stuff. So it's really fun on a cruise ship to dress up. So I'll show you my dinner outfits that I brought, but in the meantime, I just brought um, some shorts. I'm gonna bring these in. I might wear these on the ship tomorrow because the Florida State game is tomorrow and I'm sure the boys told you that, but the Florida State football team plays in the bowl game tomorrow and I have to wear my Florida State shirt. I'm not gonna wear it onto the ship, but I will wear it after um, after I get on and when the game starts. And it kind of a little bit matches because Florida State is garnet and gold. And so this is some garnet and some gold in my shorts. So um, I'll throw on a Florida State t-shirt with these. So I'm gonna hold these out because I think I might wear these onto the ship tomorrow with a different shirt potentially um maybe this shirt we'll see but i also like this shirt because it's very cruisy and it's very like bright and blue so i don't know i might wear this with my white shorts and then switch into my florida state shirt with my white shorts because that would match too so i'm not sure i'll leave those both out just in case um, however, I, whatever I feel like tomorrow. But anyway, I have a couple extra shirts and an extra pair of shorts. And then I have um, my running gear, my workout gear. I brought two pairs of shorts, a pair of leggings, and two shirts. Actually, three shirts. Because the some ships have laundry on them and some don't. This ship, I don't believe, has a laundry. I checked for that a while ago, I think, when I um, was checking on the cruise and I don't think there's a laundry. So I have to bring enough clothes that I don't have to wash my, um, my workout clothes. I also am bringing these pants. I love these pants. These are like active kind of pants. I bought these for when we went to Iceland and they're a material that's just like a wicking material. So I'm going to bring these just in case it's like chilly one morning when I go to, um, when I go to breakfast or in the evening, let's say if I want to walk around outside on the deck and it's chilly or something, I can throw this on with a shirt and then like a little cover up and be nice and warm. I like to have just one pair of like pants that is just knock around pants and then, you know, something a little bit warmer on top just to just to be comfortable. I won't bring my slippers. I brought my slippers in the past, but I'm not gonna bring them this time. And then I like to bring this. This I use this when I walk. Um, I haven't used it when I run, but I potentially could. But I use it when I walk because I can put my phone in here and strap this baby on and then just walk without holding anything, which is really nice. I prefer to have hands-free walking and I don't really wanna have it up here because I feel like if you need to change your song or whatever, it's hard to do. So anyway, I have that 
And then I want to bring two hats. So these are my two favorite hats that I have. So I'll wear this one potentially maybe to the pool. But this one, I like to cover my face and I really don't want to get sun on my face. So this is a good one to cover my face. Um, I also am going to bring two purses, one for dinner, for fancy dinners, which is this. And it's large enough to hold my phone. So that's good. And I can put, oh, look at that. Hey, there's some fancy things in there. This was Katie's purse, I think. I think she got this um, for homecoming or something one year. So I'm going to bring that. And I'm also going to bring this. This is a North Carolina Outer Banks purse, but it's the it's nice cruise colors. So I'm going to bring this. I should clean it out. There's all kinds of junk left over in here. <laughs> but it'll also fit my phone. And look, I have a measuring tape in here just in case there's something I need to measure. Um... But anyway, so this will hold my phone and it'll hold like my um, cruise, um, my CPAS. Well, I don't really need my CPAS, but like if I take it off, whatever, I can put stuff in here. And then I, I will bring, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, this is another little skirt that I could wear. Um, I could wear it to work out, but also just like to wear it to breakfast. It's like a little workout skirt, a little moisture wicking skirt. Okay, now we're going to move on. Oh wait, also with my bathing suits, this is another thing is I have a cover up, this guy right here. He's very comfortable. And I can throw this on over my bathing suit with my shoes, wear it to the pool, end of story. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. And then one other little guy, I could wear this as a bathing suit cover up if I need to, or I could wear it like off the ship. It's just a little jumper, it's a little ranchon, terry cloth, one of my favorite jumpers. So that's actually good to knock around in too. I could wear it to breakfast, it's just very, cruisy kind of um, beachy thing. All right, so these are my outfits for dinner that I'm gonna bring. You ready? Hold on. Okay, this is where I might have too many things and I might need to remove some. But I'll start over here. These are two little, I probably won't bring this one because this really doesn't go with anything that I have. But this is just a little like cardigan you can just throw over and tie the bottom and it's very light and easy and it covers your shoulders if i have bare shoulders um sometimes like in the dining room or something and there's air conditioning going on i get very chilly so just if i can have something that can cover it up i will this is a black one sort of a grayish one that kind of goes better with the other things that i have and i can honestly smush it up and roll it up and put it into my purse if i needed to um but i think i'll probably just bring this guy oh and the other thing i have is wait a minute this is what i'm really Maybe I'll just bring this one. I have this little guy too. And he is a sparkly like scarf, you know, like this. So I'll probably bring him as well and wrap him around and um, use him. He's a little fancier. So I'll probably bring this one and the black one. But again, if I need to start removing things, I'll remove one of these. Okay, so that's that. Then I have a couple different mix and match outfits. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me. I have a couple different mix and match outfits. So for example, like I brought mostly black bottoms and then different colored tops. So I can um, decide when I want to, what I'm gonna be wearing. So let's, let me show you this. Okay, so I have these black leatherish pants. I have this cute little like flouncy black skirt. I have these, um, they're uh, velvet leggings or velour, whatever you call it. Then for tops, I have this black shirt, which would go with any one of those bottoms. I love this little shirt. I wore it on Christmas Eve, but I absolutely adore it. And I thought it with the long sleeves, it might be a good idea in case one of the nights is chilly. I love this little velvet shirt. It's a little velvet pink shirt. That's very fun. I have this little guy, which is a little red flouncy. So that could, again, this could go with the leather pants, the black skirt, or the leggings. And then I have this little shirt that I love. I wear him all the time, but he's cute too. I love him. And then, so those are sort of mix and match. Then I have this guy that I love, and he is a, um, like a romper. He's all one piece and with wide legs. And I have this little black belt that goes around him in the middle. So he's very pretty, I love him. So I'll probably bring him. I can fit all these things. I love this little dress. He, I can wear him anywhere. I can wear him off the ship. I can wear him for dinner <coughs> with my little shoes, my little um, white shoes that I showed you, the little white uh, fluffy floppies, um, little sandals. 
but he doesn't take up much room and I adore him. And then this, I think, is gonna be my New Year's dress. This is a hand-me-down for my mother. She has the best taste in the whole wide world. I always get her dresses, so I'm so happy about that. But this is one of the dresses that she has bequeathed to me, and um, it has these little strappies over here, and then at the bottom, I don't know if you can tell, but it is um, sheer at the bottom, and it's diagonal, like a diagonal sheer at the bottom and it zips up the back and it has some those pretty designs along the front. So I have this for New Year's with my black shoes that I showed you earlier and some jewels. So I'm pretty excited about that. I love dressing up. The other things I'm bringing, I always bring these on my cruises. These are my chair clips for the towels that go on your chair because oftentimes on the cruise deck, it's a little bit windy. So if you have your towel and it gets windy, it constantly comes off. So I have my little clips that I love. I will bring those. I got this for Christmas. I know I didn't do a Christmas haul, but this is a beach towel and it's almost like a chamois. It's called Dock and Bay. It's a recycled quick dry towel. It is really thin and easy. I love it. So it dries you and it's very pretty um, and it's small. I mean, there are ships, I'm sorry, there are towels on the ship. So I may or may not bring this if I, again, if I don't have room, this might be one to go, but it's a brand new Christmas gift and I love it and I wanna use it. I used it at the beach today when we went to the beach. So I might bring that. And then I have in here, I'm bringing my makeup bag and I am gonna bring a little bit of medicine um, just in case you hate to be on a ship and get the sniffles or be on a ship and have allergies or, <clears throat> or need some type of something. So I have some cough drops. I have Imodium AD in case people have tummy issues. I have allergy medication. I have Tylenol cold and flu, just in case somebody gets a little sore throat, and Alka-Seltzer plus daytime, and some Afrin, just in case. Um, my sunglasses, of course. This is my little makeup bag that Katie bought me, this beautiful makeup bag for Christmas, so I put my makeup in there. And I'm bringing these too. This is a tip I got off of a YouTube channel that I was watching the other day. These are little antiseptic wipes, so I'm gonna use these when we first get in just to clean everything down. Nobody wants to get cold on the ship. I have the medicine just in case, but we'll wipe everything down. And then this is all the other things like hair, hair accessories and jewelry and um, shampoo and toothbrush, toothpaste, all that stuff goes in here. And then I have my straightener. So that is pretty much it. I hope everything can fit in my bag. If not, I do have my little backpack. Of, oh, I'll show you that in just a second. So I just put all my medicine in this cute little pack right here. It's a little jewelry bag. Boop, done so. So that's I have it, just in case. All right, a couple more tips I have for cruise packing is this. Obviously, bring your own suntan lotion. And we're not, again, we're not flying to uh, Miami. We're driving, so it doesn't matter how big my suntan lotion is. But I'm bringing that, and I have my face stuff. And then I bring, okay, I, I mentioned earlier that I was gonna bring a backpack. So yes, I'm bringing this backpack. Um, so when you go, when you get to the ship, they're going to take your luggage and they put it, um, they, they take it like through processing or whatever, so they can deliver it to your room. Um, so you might not get there. Like, let's say we're, we're slated to get on the ship tomorrow at noon and our luggage might not even get to our room till like six. So we're six hours without luggage. Well, obviously you want to do stuff. So I'm going to pack my bathing suit. I'll put in there and then, um, probably a hat I'll put in there as well. And then um, certainly my FSU shirt because I'm probably not going to wear that on the ship like I mentioned, but I'll change into it for the game, which very well may start. It starts at 5.30, so it very well may start before we can get in the room and get our, um, get our luggage anyway. That, I'll pack my suntan lotion in there as well and my sunglasses um, and my clips and all that. Um, but then... For the rest of the days when I'm going to the pool, I'm not gonna wanna carry around my big backpack all the time. I will keep that on the side. And then I have this little guy, and this is a bag that was given to me by my sister-in-law, and I, I've used it for years. And literally, it's just this little bag that can fold up into this little ball, so it takes up no space, but it holds tons of stuff. So I can put in there when I go to the pool, I can put my clips, and I can put my suntan lotion, I can put my book, I can put my, uh, whatever, my towel if I bring it, my hat, all that stuff, so I can just carry that, but it doesn't take up any space in my bag, which is awesome. So this is what I'm talking about, you guys. I can't set my suitcase shut. I'm only going for five days. I do not need all this stuff, so this is where I start paring down. 
take a few things out, wear things again, here I go. Hey you guys, it's one in the morning. It is time for me to go to bed. I have, I have two more videos to put up so you guys, so I can have videos for you guys to watch while we're on our trip. But otherwise I've gone into my bag once again, taken out some makeup brushes and another shirt and um, it's just some things I don't need. But I'm going to close up my suitcase now and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow morning. We are gonna be on our way to our cruise and actually, Enjoy the next few videos because we'll be filming, but we won't put it up because we'll be on the cruise, so we'll, fill, we'll put this up after. But we have some really fun things for you in store to watch. So thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's packing vlog and look forward to our cruise videos. We can't wait to see you when we get back. Take care, bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.